so because you're doing polyculture, yeah. there's an advantage to that. Um, a lot of plants don't share the same disease. Mm -hmm. For example, we said capsicum, carrots, exactly. lettuce, something else. Beans, so if yeah. the capsicum gets sick, these guys won't get the same sickness because they're not in the same family. Yeah. Maybe if you do it capsicum and tomatoes, they might affect, affect each other each with other blight. So you can do capsicum here and then a tomato at the very end. And, and then they don't, because yeah. Of the space and, mm. and the other thing is, if a plant is super healthy, it's less likely to get sick. I'm hoping that with enough water and enough care, the plants will be so healthy that they won't get time to be sick. <laughs> Before we move away from the composting, have yeah. you ever thought of vermicomposting? Yes, so um, that's the other thing that is going to go to the compost base. So that's my new project okay. next year. Mm -hmm. This shack will go away and I'll transform it into vermicompost and a mushroom house. So that's going to oh, come through. Too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You know what you're doing. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the very end where the sticks are, um, I'll also put now the crickets uh -huh. and insectary. So crickets, mealworms, black, black soldier, soldier fly, fly and anything else I can get that's I mean, earthworms will be here, so we'll have like a whole insect tree going on. This. Mealworms are hard to get in Kenya. They are, and they are. But I will look for them and I will find them. Know. So this is my square foot garden project with several squares. I'll show you how many, how you can use the squares, what accessories you can add to them. Mm -hmm. Trellises are not the only ones. There's some mm -hmm. nice juicy ones coming <laughs> in with livestock. So mm -hmm. that'll be interesting. Um, and it'll span the whole way. Now, if you notice, my beds are about six foot but I only needed four feet. So this is extra. It's an extra room, a row to yeah. be creative with. I'm gonna just put strawberries oh. all through. And at the end of that one, I'm gonna put herbs. So things that I can use lots more. I have a big problem with snails and I have a solution uh -huh. for them. I don't know if I should tell you. Should I tell you? Please should I not? Help us out. The solution is ducks. So when you have oh. snails, what you have is a duck deficiency, not a snail problem. <laughs> Ducks so absolutely much. love snails. snails. So what, uh, like I have that mon marginal land mm. along the wall. I can't really grow anything there, but I can put a tiny duck house. You don't need many. You yeah. need like three Just patrolling. Around, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're patrolling, they're eating the ducks. If you have a little pond for them, like a, yeah, and you don't have anything it. fancy, a swimming pool for kids, yeah. a kiddie pool. Keep, keep it or for just them. Like a bucket that's just lying. Yeah, or big enough for their heads to dunk. Yeah, they, yeah. Have to dunk mm -hmm. they have to because their noses need to be cleaned. Clean, yeah. One thing I've gotten um, a lot of requests about is herbs. Mm. Uh, this is my fledgling uh, lemongrass. lemongrass. It's gonna grow much bigger, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna get it. But this is more of a herb space. I've got some mint, which is dying in the heat, but and you sm I tried smell to grow that. It once and it died on me. Ooh. Doesn't smell like normal mint, it does doesn't. it? It smells like um, citrusy, like herbia type. So that's grapefruit mint, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I've got my thyme, I've got my marjoram, oregano. Oh, I've actually never seen the leaves. Yes. I always just get the powdered form. So smell this thyme. This is a different type of thyme. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> Where'd you get these? <laughs> so this is lemon time. Yeah, it and is it's very lemon. My favorite as well. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm, it smells like lemongrass actually. It does, doesn't it? I like lemony things. Mm -hmm. And you can have like as you can see, you can have fruit trees, lots of fruit trees in a small space. I've got lemons. Ah, I forgot to show you the coffee, but I'll show you the coffee. Mm -hmm. And many apples also. There's apples. Ah, I didn't show you the apples. Let's yeah. go see the apples. <laughs> so this is a wambugu apple that I've let grow taller. I think they usually have them shorter, but it's got tiny apples on it. <laughs> They're so tiny though. I don't know if... <laughs> yes, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I'm also still trying, so... No, it's thriving. The fact that it's um, fruiting. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's too hot. But then I'll, I'll be doing a little bit more maintenance on the trees as well now that I'm coming into this space. Fruit trees don't necessarily need to take lots of space. You've got your guavas, like the guavas, I've got two and they feed us for months. Um, we've got the lemon trees. They haven't started fruiting, but they're coming up. I've seen them uh, flowering. I've, I've got some pawpaws. Yep, these are really old, really, really old. I'm supposed to cut them down, but I like how they look. And over there, that takes up the most space. I've got my loquat tree. Oh, <laughs> and delicious. you can imagine like, 
full of yellow fruit mm. like it's just it's really cool yep, so this is the space i was saying i can't really grow much here so i'm gonna try and keep ducks and then let them in for an hour or so but i want to try wheat i want to see how much wheat you can get from this small space yeah. and the reason is we have gluten-free flowers so banana can be made into flour yes yes um i've got a sweet potato patch there yes. so all these are the Even flowers Nduma, Nduma can yeah. be made into flour uh so all of these uh, i've got a sweet potato patch but i also have a cassava patch so you, you can bake cakes you can do pancakes and you're growing it all at home so if it works if it works <laughs> it's, it's still gonna be tried but if it does work it would be a really nice way to grow your flour in small spaces, spaces that's true. um so after the green i've got this tree this really is it looks much better when it's raining <laughs> um and i've got a herb here that i want you to smell again oh yeah we have white flies <laughs> yes oh what is this <laughs> It's like a special kind of lemon, like a sweet. I know, I love it. It's lemon verbena, mm. my favorite herb for tea and everything. Oh my god! Everything drinks. So nice. <laughs> um, this is coffee, actually. Yeah, here are ah. the little coffee berries. Guys, you can't see the coffee little <laughs> coffee beads. We'll call them for now. For now, they're tiny, tiny. So this area, as I said, it's going to be exp an experimental garden. It's going to be a wildlife pond every garden needs a little bit of water like a source of water people say oh mosquitoes will come mm. but what you don't remember is not just the mosquitoes you'll bring in frogs which eat the mosquitoes but not, they won't only eat the mosquitoes they'll also eat every other, other pest, pest yeah. you'll bring in dragonflies who are predators mm. for all these things like white, white flies, flies and aphids and everything that's bothering me people think of wildlife as lions or giraffes <laughs> or elephants but the thing is you have backyard wildlife and they're losing habitat yeah. every if, if you have a house in every uh, place or every distance equidistant to each other you have killed lots and lots of habitat yeah and then no one wants water standing outside so they don't have a water source they don't have a yeah. home so they're and dying they're using chemicals in mm -hmm. all, all your lawns yeah. are sprayed with herbicide and they're sprayed with fertilizer so no. we have beneficial insects and we need them for our gardens and things to thrive yeah and to have a balance between the good and the bad you have to attract them yes you'll attract some bad but you'll attract the good as well and then you'll form this balance where they can yeah, create yeah. their own ecosystem yeah. of controlling each other plus you've got your ducks so they'll probably eat everything else <laughs> um. 